My name is Patrick Johnston. I live in England, but for many years I was based in Africa serving the Lord Jesus, and mainly in the land of Zimbabwe. But in the little mission with which I worked at that stage, uh, we also had prayer conferences, and for that I put together prayer information, which was produced in a succession of books that was called Operation World. And the la this is the last edition I did, which was in 2001. But then I handed over to a successor, Jason Mandrick, and he has just produced the latest edition of Operation World. It's the seventh edition. But over the years, we've gathered so much information in the way of statistics, all the denominations of the world, how religions have developed. And we've uh, developed these databases with huge amounts of information. Hitherto with this book I've only given an account of what is happening in the world or what needs to happen. But then after handing over to my successor, I wanted to try and process this information we have gathered over the years. And that is why I produced a new book which has just been published and it's called The Future of the Global Church. And I, in this I have just sought to give a picture of the world as it is, how we got to where we are, and what the possibilities are for the future. Some people have asked me, well, what have you actually written about? Because this book is so different to Operation World. Operation World gives an account of what is going on and what needs to be prayed for. The future of the global church is actually trying to understand what all these statistics mean. And I've tried to do it in a way that is pictorial. And so if you look inside the book, you'll see many diagrams and maps. And this has all been done to help people visualize what is going on in the world today. I had to do all those diagrams myself, so that's why the book took some time to produce. But what is my aim in doing this book? Well, firstly, I wanted to pass on to other Christian workers the ability to communicate what is happening in our world today. Because what is happening in our world is so very different to the way the secular press would portray it or the politicians understand it. Religion is actually going to be very important in the 21st century. And very few evangelical Christians realise how central evangelical Christianity is going to be in the coming generation. And so basically I've moved on further than the original aim in wanting to show how we ha can have a, as evangelical Christians a worldview that is all comprehensive. It helps people to understand the world in which we live and to have hope for the future and to have expectation that God is going to work. One of the burdens I have had in putting together a book that is so full of statistics and diagrams, uh, graphs and so on, is that it not just be academic, that it not just be statistical, but that it have life, that it actually communicate a spiritual vision and a burden. And so right through the book I've given lots of ideas, uh, uh, things for th people to think about, and maybe to show what our present trends indicate might be the situation so that both we either have so that we either have hope or that we see what we have to do to make changes in what is now going on so basically the book is not just statistical it is for spiritual blessing and action the this book is actually like the tip of an iceberg uh, it really is the uh, only the front part of what is a much bigger project. We've done everything electronically and I've wanted to back up all the information that is in the book in electronic form that people can access. And so you only have to go to the website which is exactly according to the title of the book uh, the future of the world global church dot com or dot org and there you will find all sorts of resources powerpoints on every diagram of the book uh, there, are, there will be the databases, the statistics for, uh, that are used as the basis for the book, the sources of the, st the statistics. 
And so a huge amount of information, far beyond that which is in the book, will be available on the website. And that, act, uh, that website is now active and can be accessed. Of course, many of the diagrams in the PowerPoint can be downloaded for a fairly nominal fee. And the book is also available in electronic formats like Kindle, um, or it soon will be, and it can be downloaded as a PDF file as well. And so there are many different formats of the information and the book itself which are accessible. And may the Lord bless that to you if you access this information. As I wrote the book, there was one deep down longing in my heart not to give people a fear for the future, but hope. Because I believe what we are seeing in the world today is some of the most amazing growth of the church that the world has ever seen. And we need to look at the future in that aspect, that God is at work and we can expect him to work in the 21st century. All too often people in the West are very pessimistic about the future. And indeed everything is changing, but we've got a God who reigns and we can expect him to work so that the job he gave us to do will be brought to completion. And we want that to happen as soon as possible.